in the Wii Fit, I guess. There probably was never in question. But. Yeah, Steve, Wii Fit. This is going to be a pretty interesting matchup. I think it could be a little difficult sometimes for Wii Fit to engage uh, with this love character. Uh, uh, just count, because, count, count, count. I mean, the wall. The wall. But yeah. we do see John honestly do a better job Ooh. than most players. Cool. You're right. I didn't even think about the cap mechanic of the wall, right? Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Breaks out of the fake down throw bear. Ooh, big routing here, though. Is going to find that conversion. Makes it back first. The anvil is potentially going to be here, but we don't actually see it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kind of some restraint showed by Zane there. Yeah. Um... They're trying to max out on these combos, not really settling for the three pieces, and John's just getting these swings out of this advantage for free. Mm -hmm. I don't think... It doesn't seem like both players have realized that a stock is gone, and, you know, the pace hasn't changed to lead, you know, playing with a lead yet. Yeah. They're just, like, digging in there. Yeah, absolutely. Just scrappy performance from these two right now. Two players, I assume, you know, are very familiar with each other. Oh, yeah. These two play at least once a week, every week nowadays. And that's the kind of stuff where you know... Oh. Ooh. Very interesting. Yeah, right, it makes sense that if a block is in the way, she doesn't get the grab there. Because huh? the tether gets disrupted by the wall. Oh, we see a lot of pressure here from Zane, but Numbers finding that button out of a uh, disadvantage mm -hmm. once again. I've watched them lab out that exact confirm that was dropped <laughs> so much. Shame, shame to see it with. Yeah. Oh, All right. that up to oh, such an impressive pressure. hitbox. And this is going to be a scary situation because while Zane and honestly just Steve in general could get these stocks done quickly, I mean, Numbers isn't really giving them much time to find mats. That being said, the up smash and hands on gold, things are going to get a little bit different now. Does find the up tilt. Oh, oh no, God. big route. I was 38%. Just Ooh, they're back first again, but they don't apply pressure at the ledge here. They really couldn't get anything off in time. Zane really showing some some backbone here. It felt like it was uh, moving on to the next game, thinking kind of a slower game plan. Yeah. Found magic with that up smash, and you know, definitely still looking like the result isn't in question, but we could see. Ooh, Ooh that's gonna be a big tick thrown by the minecart. Why can you get tick thrown by minecart? Don't ask me. True, I guess, you know, sometimes it's a hitbox, sometimes it's a command grab, <laughs> sometimes you can hit the boat. Interesting uh, move. Yeah, sometimes. All right, refreshes that stone material. 133% is going to make it easy for a single stray hit from Wii Fit to steal things here. Game one going in John Numbers' favor. Just simple things like that. You know, that back air out of shield is so dangerous. And so many characters, that's the side of the shield you just feel comfortable kind of pressuring. Exactly. We saw some uh, aerials, you know, hitting a little high on the shield kind of throughout the game from, from Zane, right? And just to do the rising back air. Yep. Uh, great reaction by John, understanding kind of what his win conditions were at this point, right? Absolutely. And, and just cross the stage, move is, move is gonna kill you. It's just so strong. Sonic, <laughs> it's boost pad back air, as Devin used to call him, I believe. It's just one direction, I backwards. I expect Zen though, I expect them to really, uh, you know, show us something different this game. Right? Such yeah. a different, just the, the way this started, right? Yeah, much more handsy approach to the beginning of the game, not staying behind the wall, realizing you do have to get things going versus Wii Fit before you can use that pressure of the wall between you two. Mm -hmm. But then also really kind of going for a non-committal in terms of, you know, laying laying out the neutral tools, right? But still a very non-committal kind of opening, uh, which has proven to, you know, got some good stuff done here. Oh, my Ooh, God. Ooh, that was a massive poke. All right. I, I wish we could like just pause the game and someone can explain to me what happened with these anvil interactions, right? That wave bounce empty. I don't. I, I think that was minecart. I think that was wave bounce empty cart to space in the air. That was so nasty. Oh yeah, man, that is gross. This game looking a lot better so far for Zane. I mean, anything better than the beginning of that last yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. That, even that. You know, the extreme speed being an option. Yeah. Right, you gotta love, uh, we were talking about the Falcon Kick earlier, right? Just having anything you can do in that range. Yeah. It just makes such a difference. And it's really nice for Steve to, I mean, it's probably not as present versus Wii Fit, a character who doesn't deal with crouches as much. Oh, that was trap filthy yeah. coverage of what are you gonna do? You gotta keep Absolutely putting stuff different. on the ledge. If you're gonna ride the stage, I'll ride it with you. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, Get my mod cart, baby. Yeah. It's gonna run. Yeah, Marvel 2 theme. <laughs> All right. Anvil Fair. Oh, man. Right, Sitting wow, up for this one. Ooh, great pressure there. Oh, it gets reversal. 
Yeah. But both hits in the nair. Gets another hit on the landing with the volley. Oh. Very scary stuff. Finds the jab into the forward air. Takes it nice and slow there with the confirm again. Yeah, these situations on this right side of the stage, right, these have been the crucial directions, right? Yeah. A space where John maybe, you know, feels comfortable with his character. Uh, it's it's really interesting to see this where Zayn kind of stepped up the point of the point of attack, right? And found a lot of uh, a lot of gains. Building a fatty L on him, hits Diamond is probably gonna save it for the next stock. I believe oh, that man. would be wise. Ooh. Does find the F smash too perfect. Timing. We felt like wow, this so, is really something scary. Dash was getting buffered there, right after yep. that ball. Oh man, Ooh. 51 is not where you want to be right now. The minecart. Oh, oh my, god. my god, 72. Yeah, Ooh, yeah this is tricky uh, in the bubble. Yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. Very uh, difficult game to bring back because no matter how well you play this, Steve comes off that platform, gets diamond. That was a, a crazy hitter. offensive ledge option choice from John, and he knew it was gonna kill. Really, really kind of great option choice there. Yeah. Right? I'm, Right, he's so cognizant of those percents of these k kill situations. Yeah, Ooh. and you gotta get it settled somehow, right? Especially when you're finding yourself in these bad uh, situations. I don't know if that get-up attack was intentional, right? Kind of ruined the pressure string here. And now these percents, I feel like we think could even up this game so quick. Good roll, very interesting choice, right? Yeah. Because you saw Zayn was gonna kind of use the platform to mix up uh, their approach. Yeah, John's Just doing a nice job of keeping it nice and slow here, but oh, first is this the first TNT sighting? I think so. All right, just yeah. kind of a turf <laughs> under a whole lot of turf. They were just as shocked by the TNT as we were. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, a character like Wee Fidge just says, I'm not dealing with that. Back air. Oh, what's going on? Oh, doesn't find the conversion. Good mash timing by John. Mm -hmm. All right, just cart. Oh, that was a great block. Such an intimidating place to put it. Zane really looking for the pressure here in the corner. Keeps playing these ledge trap situations. Well, oh, Numbers that, does find that, that back air, though, cool. and... No oh way! Yeah. Wow! Okay, this has become so, like I mentioned, so even now. Ooh, I love that block there, but John Numbers Point just gonna scout up. that The slowest option. breathing, the deepest breath. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. uh, <gasps> Windbox again. <laughs> uh, where's the up smash? Yeah, that's, that has to be it. That move. Yeah. So many smash moves and special moves in this game, right, are way more safe than you think. Yep. But that's one of the few that's like way less safe yeah. than you think, and I love that. Oh, wow, that was. Again, a lot of these have been kind of two O's, but that was like a heart. That heart was racing. Yeah, that was John very really, intense. you know, he kind of found that momentum. Kind of the TNT, I guess, you know. That was a watershed point of the match. Yeah. And both players, you know, both players were super respectful there, right? But yeah, absolutely. And I think John recognizing that respect is kind of why he was able to start to find that turnaround, right? Because Zane wasn't taking advantage of every situation that they could, every opening that John was giving them. And I mean, it can be really, really difficult, but regardless, you have to find that reward on hit. And in particular, I mean, the minecart in the corner um, on the way back to the stage, like those options can really, really get you messed up and begin to get you in your own head as well, because it's such a good option on paper, right? It should be fine mm -hmm. for you to look for that minecart, but characters like Wii Fit just have these niche options that hit at these angles that actually end up covering it. Yeah, crazy, right? Yeah. Uh, so much, uh I love, in this game, so many crucial decisions are done at, like, full hop height right by the ledge, yes. right? And that, uh, we're talking about, you know, making these kind of opportunistic choices. A lot of time, it's that position on the map where those things happen. Yeah, um, absolutely. So it's looking like we're getting uh, chipped off, or? All right. Oh, all right. Yeah, so well, it's been a pleasure, uh, Zeno. Hope you, you know. Yeah. Enjoyed the chatting out here with my boy. Haven't seen each other in ages, and it's a pleasure to get on the mic together. Absolutely. Yeah. It's so real. Great yeah. being on here, giving you guys the comms. Thank you for joining us. Hope mm -hmm. you all have a wonderful evening. Yeah. Enjoy the thrilling conclusion of Xeno 204? Some? 241. Okay, I got two of the digits right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right.